told to come here and speak with me and help me, which she did. And well, I was feeling unsettled because we were going to leave and go back. And uh, I said, Bridget, I need to take another swipe. And she said, swipe? I said, yeah. I kept seeing a credit card being swiped. And I said, i got to take another swipe, another sweep, a clean sweep. And the Lord said, you're going after that which is lost. Mm -hmm. And you're going to find a hidden treasure. And so at first I thought it was Mary, but it wasn't Mary. It was you. But the internal struggle was so great and so powerful that I had to just take time. I had to listen. You left and you came back. You were leaving. And you had to come back. Why did you come back, Robert? Some told me to. <laughs> so I was right. You can hear from the Holy Spirit. So when you were doing those things and the Lord, the Lord did speak to you, you've heard his voice audibly. You just didn't know it, did you? So he did tell you not to do it. Right. And he also told me not to leave. How do I know that? Because he told you. He told me. Do you know why? He said, Leslie, I've sent you to find that which was lost. You're no longer lost. You were never lost. He knew exactly where you were, but you were lost to me because I had to listen to him and I had to come and find that which was lost. Right. He said, because you are a great, great jewel, my son. Right. You are a great, great, worthy weapon in my hand. And, and you know what that means, don't you? What does it mean? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see yourself as being used as a weapon of God's choice? Like sometimes you'll be a rake, sometimes you'll be a hoe, sometimes you'll be a hammer, sometimes you'll be a nail. I mean, I've, I've, I've helped. I don't know what it really was. I mean, I've helped people that was like me, you know, on the verge of suicide. I don't do that. You know, you got a family and... and the last of my family was my mother. I'm from New York, and the last of my family was my mother, and she was killed in 9-11. And I have a, a tribute for her. You wow. Know. See what I tell you about your and, tattoos. Mm, they tell testimony. your story, your testimony. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No. It's, um... Many times that I've thought about it, I've always looked at my arm and it was like if your mom could see you she'd whip you <laughs> <laughs> praise you know, the lord for mamas and, you know you're almost 50 years old and uh your mom would tell you you're never too old for a butt woman you know <laughs> so i think the holy spirit heard those prayers and he sent us to bring you a butt whooping today no. but it wasn't bad was it no. did we love you yes ma'am did we accept you yes ma'am did we show you kindness? Yes, ma'am. We do love you. And it showed me many things that I've never knew possible. Woo! Praise God. He's going to show you more. Wait till you start dreaming. You're going to be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would count it an honor to do ministry with you. But you're you going to get your from? sea legs. Hmm? Where do you minister at? Well, we're in Atlanta. And, um,. God's got a great big plan. Atlanta, Texas? Yes. I'm not going to believe this. Yes, I will. He said, go find what, that which was lost. That's what Jennifer's <laughs> Queen. I mean, uh, Queen City. Queen Atlanta, City. Doddridge. Guess what? What do you feel right now? An hour ago, how did you feel compared to right now? Now, I uh -huh. feel I have a purpose in, in life and something to look for. Can I post this video on my Facebook page? Yes, ma'am. Can I tell them that Robert was touched by the Holy Spirit today and he'll never be the same? Yes, ma'am. How about you tell him? Right there. My life's never going to be the same again. Um, what did you feel physically? <sighs> That's about it. <laughs> 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 Do you feel any heat? 
Yes. Tingling? Feel like your legs were rubber? Boy, yeah, I had to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those that see this, no matter how much you chase the high on drugs or anything, you'll never find anything like what I've got today. <laughs> if you want to hide, find Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you, Robert. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. Hide, protect, and keep you. I'm going to see you again, and I'm going to see you preaching to the masses just like the Lord said. And I do love you unconditionally. And he's no respecter of persons. Remember that. Yes, ma'am. God bless you. Bless you. Too. Bless these people. Bless everybody. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Sister with a testimony in the field. You should join us sometime. It really is empowering. What do you say, Sister Bridget? Amen. Praise God. What is your